My first real job was I was 12 years old um, at a Polish deli. Every weekend, religiously, I went elated to the market. And I did things like receive the bread and the milk from the milkman and the bread man. So I was like receiving and talking to purveyors. I talked to the customers and sold them whatever they wanted. I packaged orders, I stocked shelves. I loved making them all perfect and in line and orderly. I got started in the industry probably at an age where it was in the States it would be illegal to work. But I was washing dishes at a very early age, just for pocket money. My mother told me at 16 to go out and get a job, so I went to the nearest steakhouse and got a job as hostess. I worked my way up. They fast-tracked me through their restaurant program. And then from there, I just kept continuing throughout my years. I would get on the floor and make sandwiches, just like the other employees would do. I'd take orders, I'd make sandwiches, I'd work the register. In a family business, you wear a lot of hats. I'm a high school dropout, so I have uh, no formal education. And uh, I went from being a bartender to uh, owning seven restaurants in a little over a decade. I do see it as an industry where you can aspire to high things from humble beginnings. I'm living proof of it. Everyone should work in the restaurant industry, in our hospitality industry at some point in their lives. It teaches you teamwork, it teaches you the basic skills that I learned is just people. And, and taking care of people and that gracious hospitality, I mean, it's in my blood. And those are skills that are going to take you through life no matter what business you're in. I truly believe it's a perfect system there's always the next step up and you're always working with the person that's ahead of you. So if you're able to tie it together, it's very easy to show a person who is a server assistant how to become a server or somebody who's a dishwasher how to become a prep cook or a line cook uh, into a sous chef. Everything connects. Starting out, I had great managers who saw my potential. I was a waitress, but the chef really liked me and so made me come in the kitchen with him and work one day a week and, and loved what I did in the kitchen. It's simple things. It's turning up for the job on a daily basis, on time, and doing it to 110% or to the best of their abilities. Those are the incredible things that come through the door. We've had probably like 10 servers that we've promoted up and through the ranks as managers. Now they're all over the place. We run into them. I can go to any restaurant now. You know, one of them's a district manager for somebody, and you know, another one's a, a chef or opening up their own place. That's the best achievement for me to be able to see on a daily basis is watching somebody with a glint in their eye saying, I don't want to be a dishwasher forever. You know, this is the job that I want. And they move slowly into a in-room dining position or into a assistant server position or a runner type role. And that gives them a little bit of a, a step in the door, so to speak. And then you just watch them run. There are just a million and one opportunities and a million and one things happen here that we bring out that passion. There's no way we could do this without our staff, a dedicated staff, from the highest level manager to the person who washes the dishes and puts the stock away. We just couldn't do it without them. And it takes that entire team from the dishwasher washing the dishes and getting them back in time and the barista making the coffees and polishing the silverware and everything is like clockwork. And so it takes all of us. Every single person is important in making that happen and it feels really good. This job, I think if you have hands-on experience with common sense, it'll help you out a lot in the long run. And there's a lot of things that you can't necessarily learn in a university versus on the job. As a whole, the Washington, D.C., and it's the restaurant community that I know, that we are one of the most philanthropic groups. I think it's just very important, and feeding people is one of the, the gifts of life. We appreciate being a part of the community, being able to give back to the community, and now that we've started our foundation, we have a Ben's Chili Bowl Foundation, our mission is to give back to the communities where we live and do business. That's literally our mission. The restaurant industry on this, in the city is on fire. A year and a half ago, 165 restaurants have opened up in the metropolitan area of Washington, D.C. The demand is there. The clientele seems to be growing. The residential impact or increase in residency in the city is growing. 
falling into the world of neighborhood dining these days is what DC is really becoming with developing so many great neighborhoods. With all the high-end chefs that want to come now to DC, I think now DC is starting to be, you know, the culinary town, and I, th I think it's great. DC is a pretty diverse environment. It's very, it's very diverse. The restaurant industry is, has endless opportunities for anybody who's willing to stay disciplined and focused.